Lexi. It's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you are looking for a friendly, helpful vermiculture community, you are in the right place. Today we're looking in on the African night crawlers in the vermi bag little mammoth. And it looks as though I had a moth pop out. But I'm not really seeing a whole lot of gnats, so that makes me happy. We had been having quite a bit of problems with gnats lately, and I just see a few. So last time, we've been really working on keeping the moisture up in the bin, which appears to be working. I've been adding about a gallon a week, or four liters, give or take. Um, and that seems to be working because the top of this is nice and damp. Let's dig in here and see what we've got going on. Have they finished the food or is there still some in there? I do have quite a big feeding for them today, so fingers crossed they have finished their food. We're just going to start by peeling back the top layer of cardboard that's shredded. And uh, if you're wondering how I get shredded cardboard, I make it myself. I have a 18 or 24 inch, nope, 18 or 24 sheet shredder that I put normal Amazon boxes through. And that is what makes this. There is a link down below to my Amazon shop and anytime that you use those links, I get a commission for the channel. Although it does not cost anything more to you and you can check that got my little, I was concerned that using uh, mosquito bits was going to cause my little isopods to die. And uh, here's proof, they did not die. So that's one thing that I had been previously concerned about that um, I'm very, very glad is not true. I was afraid that any sort of insect would be affected. And uh, so I'm very, very, very happy that that is the case. I did not, what's that? Is that a bone? I don't remember putting a bone in here. I swear, sometimes it's like uh, I'm an archeologist when I come in these bins. Um, sometimes I have no idea where things came from. Probably was in a, in a bucket of something that somebody donated that I didn't realize. And that's fine. I mean, it'll take them 10 years to eat a bone. Uh, especially that appears to be a beef bone or a uh, pork bone. And it looks like there was some tape on something, and I'm just going to pull that out. Moving over, I'm not seeing any food, but it doesn't look like the moisture is as good as I would like it to be. So I'm absolutely going to be adding moisture today. So there's no extra food. There's no food left over, so what I'm going to do is go ahead with my huge feeding that I've planned on doing. In case you're wondering if, you know, why anybody would go to the trouble of having a zipped system like this, it is exclusively for my African night crawlers. In my area, we have a lot of storms, and I additionally live on a major highway that is not too far from me, and I do hear the trucks, the very heavy trucks, hitting the numerous potholes in Illinois. Um, at top speeds, so it does shake the house, and I believe that is why my African night crawlers are so reactive and try to escape any bin that I have that doesn't have a zippered lid. If you have a problem with your African night crawlers or your blue worms being highly reactive, you might want to consider getting one of these. I'm not currently sponsored by Vermibag, but um, I'm telling you that I have had this for years and years. And the other off, the other brand of zipped bag only lasted me a year. And this one shows absolutely no sign. So like I said, I paid for this myself, not sponsored, but I will tell you that the quality on this is a thousand times better than the one you hear about the most. All right, so we're gonna flatten out all of that dry paper here. Get, is that tape? Hmm. Don't know. Okay, I'm gonna flatten that all out, and then I have both a big feeding and I also have a pureed feeding. Basically, uh, my coffee grinder died and I've been using my blender to do uh, eggshells up. I figured why not puree some food if I'm gonna puree something at all. First things first, they're going to get a blender full of eggshell and melon 
and probably I smell onion. So that will go down first. Then I do have some bigger pieces that I meant to put under that, but I uh, had a blonde moment and did not. So got some egg cartons here. These won't go through the shredder, so they kind of have to go in the bin as is. And then I have some papaya and tatsoi that didn't, I don't know. This was kind of bitter, like I bought it and then I ate a few pieces of it and it just did not taste right. Um, I feel slightly better about the $8 purchase that the worms will eat it, but I tell you, I was a little disappointed in that. So then to top it off, I'm gonna fill it to the top with uh, wet cardboard. This is not my normal prepared bedding. Um, I've run out of coconut car and regular peat moss. I don't have either one right now, so they're just gonna have to get the cardboard that's been soaked in the kelp meal. And right now, this is gonna be about six gallons of the, the bedding that I've made here. And you can tell that's very wet. And in case you're wondering what happens when you add a lot of water to these systems, it can go right through. But I have a mortar tray that sits directly under here. If you go back and look at the playlist for this bed, you can see that that is how I harvest it. Straight into a mortar tray that sits on this um, rack or whatever you want to call it. Okay, last but not least, I am going to add the leftover water. And I do fully expect this to run out the bottom. That is about three gallons of water that did not absorb into that. But basically what I can do is in a couple of hours, I can wait for that to run through and then I can pour it back in through the top so that all of that goodness doesn't go to waste in the worm bin. All right, well, if you like this system or you're just interested in African night crawlers, I do have a playlist right over here for those systems that you can watch from the beginning, from the time that I made the stand for this all the way up to today, if that interests you. And then if you're not into that, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and have a good day.